everybody, welcome to the Crochet Lovers Crochet Podcast, episode number 21. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Hello, if you're new here, welcome back. If you're a returning viewer, I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> so this week, I don't have a lot to show you, mainly because I've been working on one project and here it is. So... I will be posting a picture on screen just because it's honestly way too big just to fit in camera. <laughs> so here's the picture. And here's the blanket. This is the re granny rectangle blanket. Afghan, actually, <laughs> that I'm giving to my father for Father's Day. So here it is. And I'm just going to fold it up like this because there's no way that I will be able to show you the full thing on camera without a picture. So there is that. The border color is just in single crochet. And I use Burnett Beyond in the colorway navy and i actually got this on the hobby lobby sale this year it's originally 549 but i got it for 139 so here's this the colors that i used were charcoal and claret these are actually both the charcoal labels i don't know where the claret labels are at but Okay, there's that. Uh, so the sizing, the amount of yarn that I used was one ball. Well, let me grab it. So I had two balls for each color, uh, for the main color. And this is charcoal, this is claret. And this is how much I had left of the second ball of each. And the second ball of claret was actually my mother's, oops, which I... I asked if I could have it and she, yeah, so, uh, it was really naughty since it was old, and I think my dog might have got a hold of it ages ago, so, it was a pain to work through, because I was doing the center pull, cause, and it was working fine for a while, but then it was just nodding and nodding, and I was like, oh, it was a pain, so I eventually just pulled it into a ball, which is what I did with this too, but. So here is this, and I'm really excited. So, here we go. My next finish object was actually something that I was doing yesterday. Or when I say yesterday, I mean Friday because I'm recording this on Saturday. I, I was looking for the other ball, the charcoal ball fell. So. On the ground. So I was working on the Hat Not Hate Charity again, and I was, that's what I was doing. I needed a break from working on that blanket since I was, I've been working on it all week. That's been my priority, and I, uh, I made some rules for myself, and I said, I'm not allowed to crochet anything, not even hats. I have to only work on this blanket, but that blanket was really just like draining me out, doing the same thing over and over and stuff. And so I gave myself a day, since I knew it wasn't going to take me that long to finish it anyway. So, that is what I did yesterday. And I didn't even get that much done. I only got three hats done since I was really preoccupied. But, I was preoccupied on a writing project, but that's okay. That's a story for another time. So the hats I got done was this one which i believe for like a five-year-old this one that fits me perfectly and I, I love it i even added a little pom-pom on top and i never add pom-poms and then this one right here and the colors that i used was yarn b fleece light and the color turquoise multi and this is from the last hobby lobby sale originally 5.99 and i got it for 149 and I used ball in like a half 
for these three hats. And what I had left of this one ball was just this strand right here. So I thought I'd show you that. And I actually crocheted another hat. But I already tagged it, which is what I'm going to show you next. So, Wednesday, Tuesday. This Tuesday, I recorded uh, myself tagging the hat, Mad Heat Fiber for the hat. And I that's going to be posting out next week, I believe. So... Here's that. Here's the hats that I tagged. And I'm not going to show you every single one of them. And I didn't even show it in the video. But most of these hats are from Hook Over Heels on Instagram as well. And I was talking to her about it. I'm like, hey, these are blue hats that fit the requirements. And I know I said I was going to donate it to this charity. But is it okay if I donate it to this one? And she was totally understanding, and she goes, yeah, sure, go ahead, as long as it's going for a good cause. And I went, perfect. So, that's what happened. If you see this one right here, this is the same yarn, but different colorway. It's like a really light blue, I don't know if you can see that or not. So yeah, I tagged these hats with the fibers up there. And I actually crocheted this one the same day I recorded the podcast. So, it's just another blue hat. Thank you all the people who left comments on last week's video. For the... When I asked about your... Uh, what you thought the color teal was and I took that into consideration and I'm not going to crochet with the teal for the hats because it doesn't I mean you guys were right in the comments so I mean it's green and it's also blue and it's it's a complicated color in general so thank you for your comments again and I think that's all I have to show you like I said I've just been working on this granny rectangle blanket all week and talking with my friends crocheting it you know that, that was about, about all I did and I hope next week I have more to show you so yeah thank you oh I am not done hold on so <laughs> sorry uh this week the crochet crowd posted a little teaser trailer for their 2019 summer blanket crochet along like they did last year which I participated in I just didn't crochet the last section and then the border I just passed on that so this year I plan on actually keeping up with it let's see how that turns out but I'm gonna finish it at one point or another so, if you haven't seen the trailer for it already, I'll leave the playlist that I made for all the videos regarding that in the description box. And it's really cool. It's inspired by the earth, and it. I'm, I was just so happy and excited, because that just made me so happy. And so, if you haven't seen it or not... The blanket starts off in a circle, as in with the core of the earth, and then it eventually works out into a hexagon, and I believe it's a hexagon, but you know, with the sides on it, and he said he would have done the circle, but not a lot of people use circle afghans, so there was the reasoning behind that, and it is so cool, there's cables and all that, and it's another learning the stitches and stuff, and I haven't done cables before, crochet or knit, so I'm excited to just, I'm, I'm just really excited if you can't tell. And the yarn that I plan on using that is some sort of red heart ombre. I planned on using my 
yarn bead cakes that I got on the sale, but I didn't have enough of that, and I was trying to figure out with my mom how to do it. Be like, oh, just use one cake at a time and just see how it turns out. But actually, Ella from No Catch Your Name, she inspired me to use my Red Heart Ombre. So, thank you for watching. And I don't know what colorway I'm going to use yet. So, whenever I start that, which it comes out in July, by the way, I will just show you that. And I thought I'd let you guys know because I'd love to see yours if you if you're gonna be doing that too so yeah i'm just i'm really excited i keep on saying that but i am it gets me so happy because i love talking about the earth and in case you're wondering neptune is my favorite planet <laughs> okay so that's that's all for today thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye